This afternoon, the President released a statement and fact sheet regarding cyber threats to the homeland, urging private sector partners to take immediate action to shore up their defenses against potential cyber attacks. We've previously warned about the potential for Russia to conduct cyber attacks against the United States, including as a, re as a response to the unprecedented economic costs that the U.S. and allies and partners impose in response to Russia's further invasion of Ukraine. Today, we are reiterating those warnings, and we're doing so based on evolving threat intelligence that the Russian government is exploring options for potential cyber attacks on critical infrastructure in the United States. To be clear, there is no certainty there will be a cyber incident on critical infrastructure. So why am I here? Because this is a call to action and a call to responsibility for all of us. At the President's direction, the administration has worked extensively over the last year to prepare to meet this sort of threat, providing unprecedented warning and advice to the private sector and mandating cybersecurity measures where we have the authority to do so. For example, just last week, federal agencies convened more than 100 companies to share new cybersecurity threat information in light of this evolving threat intelligence. During those meetings, we shared resources and tools to help companies harden their security, like advisories sourced from sensitive threat intelligence and hands-on support from local FBI field offices and CISA regional offices, including their Shields Up program. The meeting was part of an extensive cybersecurity resilience effort that we began in the fall, prompted by the President. Agencies like Energy, EPA, Treasury, and DHS have hosted both classified and unclassified briefings with hundreds of owners and operators of privately owned critical infrastructure. CISA, NSA, and FBI have published cybersecurity advisories that set out protections the private sector can deploy to improve security. The President has also directed departments and agencies to use all existing government authorities to mandate new cybersecurity and network defense measures. You've seen us do that where we have the authority to do so, including TSA's work that mandated directives for the oil and gas pipelines following the colonial pipeline incident that highlighted the significant gaps in resilience for that sector. Our efforts together over the past year have helped drive much needed and significant improvements. But there's still much more we need to do to have the confidence that we've locked our digital doors, particularly for the critical services Americans rely on. The majority of our critical infrastructure, as you know, is owned and operated by the private sector. And those owners and operators have the ability and a responsibility to harden the systems and networks we all rely on. Notwithstanding these repeated warnings, we continue to see adversaries compromising systems that use known vulnerabilities for which there are patches. This is deeply troubling. So we're urging today companies to take the steps within your control, to act immediately to protect the services millions of Americans rely on, and to use the resources the federal government makes available. The fact sheet released alongside the President's statement contains the specific actions that we're calling companies to do. I would be remiss if I didn't reiterate the President's thanks to Congress for its partnership in this effort, including making cybersecurity resources available in the bipartisan infrastructure law, and most recently for working across the aisle to require companies to report cyber incidents to the federal government. That will ensure federal resources are focused on the most important cyber threats to the American people. We welcome additional congressional work to identify new authorities that can help address gaps and drive down collective cybersecurity risk. Bottom line, this is about us, the work we need to do to lock our digital doors and to put the country in the best defensive position. And there is them. As the President has said, the United States is not seeking confrontation with Russia. But he has also said that if Russia conducts disruptive cyber attacks against critical infrastructure, we will be prepared to respond. Thank you. All right, let me just first ask, for those of you in the aisles, if you're not